This is a really bad idea. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do stuff. We always do stuff in these episodes. Kind of funny how that works, huh? Um, okay, so let's see here. It is May the 7th. Last night, on Friday, on May the 6th, I did a live stream. And um, that is going to, on the playlist, uh, be episode 24. But it because it was a live stream, it's about four and a half hours long because we had a lot of fun and streamed all evening. So if um, if you want to watch that to see what happened, uh, go for it. If you don't, because it's so long, understand. So I'll just kind of summarize what happened um, during the live stream. Uh, basically, what I did is I went around and I started systematically, randomly, meaning not not doing it from uh, trader quests, looting uh, the POIs in this town. And in the process of doing that, we found some cool things got some upgrades, and got some important stuff done. Probably the most important of which is we now have the Tier 2 Research Station because I was looking for books in particular to get this done. So we have finally um, been able to make the Research Station Tier 2, which is going to now open up higher-level items for us. And so uh, the other really big item that we found uh, is we found a small engine. That's the first small engine I have found. Um, since we started playing here in season two, so these are ultra rare. And so what we can do with this is we can actually make ourselves a mini bike. But in order to do that, we're either going to have to find or buy or research the frame and the handlebars. OK, so um, I think I think everything from tier one carries over to tier two. I'm pretty sure that it does. So let's look at this. Um, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it does. OK, so. We, we can actually craft the mini bike itself um, because it, you know, the mini bike as a whole is not gated behind a schematic. However, the frame and the handlebars are. And all of this stuff, since we have the engine, the rest of this stuff, well, except for the frame and the handlebars, is super easy. I already have it or can easily make it. So what we need to do is we either need to, like I said, find or buy a mini bike frame and mini bike handlebars uh, or research them. Now we could research them. I could afford to do that. It's going to cost us 800 research data for both of those pieces. And I have a thousand. So we have the data to do that. Um, or we could go, you know, continue uh, just kind of questing in town here and just see, you know, if we, if we come across it or maybe even the trader will sell it. Uh, it's not absolutely critical that we get the mini bike until we are ready to leave this town. And once I'm finished systematically looting all the POIs in this town, oh shit, that wasn't uh, what I meant to do. <laughs> Good lord, uh, we better patch that proper. Um, anyways, once we are finished systematically looting this town, um, then we're get we're gonna get the heck out of here because there's you know it's just too small of a town. There's not enough stuff here for us. Uh, and I really, you know, I've told you guys this all along. I really want to find a city. Um, but I'd rather wait until we have a motorized vehicle to do that because um, doing that on the bicycle is going to be painful because A, of the stamina usage and the slowness of it, and B, the bicycle has zero storage. I'm, I'm hoping the mini bike has some storage in this mod. Maybe it doesn't either. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where we're at with that. Let's see. What else happened? We, uh, I found this really cool steel combat knife in some loot. So we found that. I found a, a leather duster. And we got an iron gloves armor upgrade and a scrap leg armor upgrade. So we found those things. Uh, we did we did one trader quest. And I think that's probably the highlights of everything that we did in the live stream. So by all means, watch it if you want to. It was a great time. Really had fun with everybody, um, but it is long, you know, because it's a live stream. So it's a little over, it's over four hours. So if you don't want to watch it, then I, I, I think that pretty much summarizes everything we did and we can just pick up from here. Oh, there is an, an, a couple of other things too. Uh, we, uh, I actually put a point into uh, lock picking. Um, so now we have, we have plus 25 to lock picking. And I started working on lock picking too. So I've, I've got the skill up to, to, to level four. 
One of the suggestions that one of the viewers in the live stream made to me was to start using um, jailbreakers. Because if I if I pop a jailbreakers, the way that it works in Undead Legacy is it just removes the the gate from the level gate from the lock. So if you have like a level 100 lock, for example, um, and you're level 99, you can't unlock it unless you eat this, and then you can. You still have to do the actual lock picking, which I which I really like actually, because of the fact that then then I I continue working on the skill itself. Uh, so what that does is that opens up you know the higher level uh, quests for us, uh, the tiers. So now we can do tier three quests and also get the in loot, and we can also do uh, the buried treasure, which we are going to in fact do in this episode. We have a buried treasure um, up here. So that's one of the things that we're going to accomplish in this episode. So I think the plan for today is to go do the buried treasure first. And then uh, after we do that buried treasure, we will come back. Um, we'll probably continue taking quests too, but I'm also going to just, you know, systematically loot the rest of the town because in doing that, we can really zero in on the looting and start getting all of the stuff that we need. Now, if we don't find the mini bike stuff, you know, within a reasonable amount of time, within another couple of days, then I'm probably just going to bite the bullet and spin the stuff to research it and just get it done that way. Okay, so that's pretty much where we're at. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure we're in good shape food and water-wise. we got five bacon and eggs. So let's take... That's going to get us up to... That's going to get us close. Why don't we take an extra one with us and we can just nosh on that later. And then we'll also take a red tea. And that should get us going really well with our hydration. Uh, I have a full fuel barrel now here, and I'm started to fill it up a second fuel barrel. So we got that going on. And yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I think if anything else comes to mind as we as we do the episode today, I'll I'll definitely let you know. But I think the, those were the highlights from the live stream. Okay, let's um, let's oh make sure we have our shovel. Yes, we have our shovel. Okay, so let's uh, head over to this live stream location. And you know what? Let's we might as well just grab a quest from from Hugh too. And I want to I want to look at his inventory again to make sure that he actually doesn't have those mini bike parts because I don't remember if I explicitly Man, looked for those. Look what the cat dragged in. All right. Better have coin. He's got a Dune Runner here, but yeah, sixty three thousand coin. That ain't happening. Uh, but eventually we'll we'll get the Dune Runner. I, I really want to to do that. Oh, he does have some concrete, and I bought some of it last night. Um, so, uh, what is this? Oh, he's got the chem station schematic, you guys. That's what we need next. Oh my goodness! Okay, we're buying it. We are buying that. Don't call me a lousy customer. I'm coming right back to spend money. I looked at that his inventory last night, but I didn't look at it closely. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so that's going to save us on all the crap that we need to research the chemistry bench. And then we can just flat out make it. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, cool. Let's go up here. Yeah, it was it was uh, the live stream was a lot of fun. I I had the the people watching um help me play the locking mini game. So basically, you know, you got the the lock and I had them choose, you know, where on the clock I should start, like start at the 3 o'clock position, start at the 11 o'clock position, and so, so forth. So it was fun. We had a great time. Um, if you've never uh, joined me on a live stream, I usually try and live stream on uh, Wednesday nights, Friday nights, and Saturday afternoons um, when I'm on my normal schedule. In other words, work, you know, real life and work and that sort of thing hasn't, isn't preventing me from doing that. So if you ever want to catch a live stream, I'd like to have you come on and chat with you in real time that'd be great okay what are we doing we're looking for money oh man i hope we have enough if we take the sugar butts and uh, we might not have enough but that's okay if we don't you know we'll just go loot stuff and sell more stuff to them until we do have enough um okay so i'm, I'm gonna sell all of that stuff i've been collecting these lights and i got to you know someone was telling me in the in the in the live stream, you know, to, to sell that stuff. There's no point in me hanging on to it because I don't have a lot of extra space at A and B. I'm not going to do anything with that stuff until we get our permanent base anyway. So um, storing it doesn't make a lot of sense. So we're going to sell that. Um, we can make, yeah, we can't make a ton of coin off those batteries. Oh, we got another treasure map too. You know what? Let's do, t what treasure do we have now? I think it's Taylor's, right? Yeah. All right. Let's, let's just do both of these today. Why not? Right. 
Hopefully they don't send us into the frickin' uh, wasteland, though. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll pop the sugar butts. We'll sell all of this. I'm just trying to see. Is there anything else I could... Can I sell these? Oh, you can. Look how much those are worth. Uh, okay, hold on. How much is one worth? Oh, 18. Okay. But if we sold 10... Yeah, okay. Well, why don't we sell 10? Because we don't need that many of these. Anyways, so we'll sell those. Uh, what else could I potentially sell? Let's sell this. We don't need a suit jacket. Um, I don't think we need these because... What are we wearing right now for heat resistance shorts? These have heat resistance of 8. Yeah, we'll sell those. Not that we're going to make a bunch of money off of that, but we'll sell it anyway. Military fiber. I don't want to sell my night vision goggles because we'll eventually want to use those. I don't think we need these jeans. What about this shirt? Yeah, we don't need the shirt either. And yeah, we don't need the padded boots. We might keep the skull cap for cold weather. And I think everything else in there we'll hang on to for now. Uh, do I have a, an abundance of stuff in here that we could maybe get rid of a few things? Kind of don't re really want to sell the hinges. That's only 50 for the whole stack. Yeah, that's... Oh, actually, here. We got a lot of these. That's 460 worth. Yeah, let's, let's sell half of those and half of these. Because that's stuff we can always, you know, get easily by renting cars and whatnot. Um, we want to kind of keep... I'm pretty sure we want to keep the rest of this stuff for now. We could sell half our nails, I suppose, because those are easy to make, right? Yeah, let's sell half our nails. All right, in the food bin... Just isn't really anything here, I think, that I want to sell. Ooh, we could get a chunk of coin for selling all that water. What about in here? SMG parts, shotgun parts, robotics parts. I think we're gonna we're gonna want to make a drone whenever we can, so I need to save that stuff. Feathers, nah. Pocket knife is not. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's. Oh, we could sell the scrap machete. We don't need that because we got this cool combat knife. The long pipe we can't sell. This can just be scrapped. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We can't sell those. Never mind. Why was I thinking we can't sell those? Yeah, we'll sell that for sure then. All right, what about that stuff? Nah, I want to keep all that stuff for our new house. What do we got in here? We can sell the junk pistol. Oh, I found another AUC last night, too. We can sell the extra mongrel. Uh, we don't need the pipe shotgun. I want to keep the hunting bow. And this is really the only quote-unquote sniper rifle that we currently have, so I want to sort of kind of hang on to that. Uh, I w we could take this too, but I'd kind of like to save that for like really expensive stuff that we'll buy later on. Anything in here that we could sell? I mean could, but do we want to is the question. I don't think I want to sell any of that stuff. Will he buy resin? He will, but... Not for a lot of money. 480 for that scrap rubber. Yeah, let's sell that whole stack. Scrap rubber is really easy to get. He doesn't want rotten flesh. All right, I think that's enough. We're we're spending too much time on this. Let's let's get going. That should I'm almost positive that'll give us enough to to buy that chemistry uh, schematic. So let's do that. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, Nicole's treasure map ended up in the wasteland. Eh. <laughs> I don't know about that, you guys. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, geez. Okay, well, here. Let's go back and do this part first. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, so let's eat this. Oh, crap. I was going to repair some of that stuff. Uh, all right, let me go. Let me go do that. The dead. Okay, we are back. Um, so let's go ahead and start selling this stuff. He doesn't want that. All right, I don't either. We'll sell him all of these. All of these. All of those. 
this, 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 that, that, and that. That gets us up 3850. I, I went and checked again on what I need to to make the schematic to make this for the chemistry bench, and it requires 10 acid, and I only have four. And acid's like really, I, I haven't come by much of it at all, so I, I think I'd rather just spend the money and bypass having to find all that acid. Plus, it brings the price down to 1800 too, so... All right, we got that done. Now, while we're still here, let's see what else he's got that we might be interested in. I really would like to get that, but it ain't going to happen. Um, so that's all the stuff we sold him. Let's look at his secret stash. How much does that cost? Nah, I'm not paying that much for that. So there isn't really anything else here, done here? that we need. Um, do you have... You don't. Okay. Uh, it just occurred to me, too... I was talking earlier about how the bicycle has no storage, but it does have mod slots. So I wonder if there are things we could put in there to give it some storage. Like, for example, can we put this in here? We can't. Okay. So um, there's, yeah, okay. It looks like it does have a cargo of up to 400. We just have to find the right mod for it. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know, because that, like I said, I was thinking about that after I had said that, and I said, you know what, we should look and see if that's got a mod. Fantastic. Okay, so we now know how to make the chemistry bench. Let's go see what we need to make the chemistry bench. Let's check you again. Why do you, I don't know why this guy's stuck in the corner. It's so weird. Um. All right, what do you got? I think this is the same stuff we saw him with earlier. Um, that would be nice to get. 1730. That gives us another 23.6 pounds of storage space. Eh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna do buy that. What, what I've already found one and we'll probably find more as time goes on. So let's just uh, not do that. Alright, we're gonna go we're gonna change our plans. We're gonna go back to the base, see if we can make the chem bench, because if we can, then I can get gunpowder started. Uh, we already have the ballistics table, so we can start making the we can make the ammo, we just need to make the gunpowder. And I got lead and I got brass, uh, so we should be able to really start cranking out the ammo if we can make this thing. So, actually, you know what? I think we have to make the chemistry station in the workbench, but we can pin it here. Okay, so, ooh, 90 iron plating. Okay, I do not have 90 iron plating, and I still need another acid, too. We only have four. We need five. Okay, so we're going to be on the lookout for acid, and I'm going to have to do some off-camera iron mining to get up to 90 plating. Uh, we do have the beaker here. Okay, so we got that that taken care of. Um, do I have ingots? I do. Yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and process all these ingots into plating, and then, like I said, I'm going to have to do some, some off-camera mining for that. Okay, so... Let's get back to plan A then, and that's to go do our treasure quest and then finish the episode with some random looting. So what we're going to do is, um, boy, that that's risky. Let's let's do Taylor's, and then I don't know about Nicole's. <laughs> I'll have to think about that. We might kind of swing over towards the border of the wasteland and just kind of see how far in it is and ponder whether or not I want to risk that. Uh, but we should be able to do Taylor's. Do I have bobby pins? Yes, I got 17 bobby pins. And we've got the candy that we can eat for that, so we should be able to break into that crate. All right, you guys, I'll meet you over at the dig site. Wow, this is in some uh, really rugged terrain here. Okay. Okay. Well, let's uh, grab this and get to work on trying to find this thing. This is going to suck. Well, maybe it won't. Maybe we'll luck out and we'll get right to it. All right. My goodness, that took a long time. So um, it took so long that my iron shovel wore out. So I figured, okay, I'll just make stone shovel finish it up because I'm going to run all the way back to town. And then I realized, well, actually to make stone shovel, I first need to make cordage. And guess what I need to make cordage? A carpenter's bench. So then I had to get all the, 
gather all the resources to make a carpenter's bench, just so I can make cordage, just so I can make a stone shovel, finally to find this treasure. Oh my goodness. Uh, but, you know, we got several digging po points out of the deal. We got some clay that we can use and stuff. So, you know, uh, it, it's all good. All right. So what we're going to have to do, because I don't think we can. Yeah, we, we have to be 50 to unlock this. But if we take one of these, we can now unlock the crate. Here we go. Okay. So let's just start at the 12 o'clock position. These bobby pins are really fragile. They don't last very long. They're actually... You know, because my skills up a little higher, they're actually more durable than they were when I first started, though, which is a good thing. Okay, um, let's go start going this way a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we'll put the cursor here and then down a little bit more, maybe down just a little more, and just a Nat's eyebrow. That's probably too far. Oh, no, we got it. All right. Awesome. Um, what does that give us? Where are we at with lock picking? Okay, so we're getting close to to level five on that, too. All right, let's see what we got. Nice, nice, nice. 4,000 coin. And we didn't get any 556s. Five and uh, we got some ammunition stuff. And we got buckshot, too. The thing is that I've noticed about this mod is it doesn't. I have yet to find any magnum ammo in the wild, so to speak. How do I get out of here? The digging in this this was just crazy. Um, here, can I get out here? Yep, there we go. So, yeah. So, but that's okay. I mean, we can start making it now. I'm I'm probably too. I probably can't carry this. It's probably gonna make me too heavy. Yeah, two hundred. Um. Let's just scrap it and get... Well, that's all we're going to get back from it. Okay. Yeah, there's just no way I can carry that back. It's too damn heavy. Um, And even... Wait a minute. We're still really heavy. Okay. Oh, is it because... It's because of this wood. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, If we scrap the wood... Okay. It's better than throwing it away, right? Okay. Well... Um, let's go see, let's go, oh my goodness, let's go see, <laughs> this is bad, uh, assess whether or not we want to even consider attempting to do the treasure in the wasteland. This is a really bad idea. A really bad idea. Um, I'm not... <laughs> I don't want to take the bike in there because the buzzer, it's just, the buzzer's going to come after us like crazy. In fact, I got attacked by two buzzers just on the way over here. Oh boy. Why do I get myself into these things? Oh, there's a book. Okay, we'll take that. Let's go cool and quiet. We've got to watch out for those things right there. Those things. We're just going to. We're just going to see what happens here. I think we already know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have to remember there's a landmine right next to where we're going to come out at. Actually, you know what? Can't we just do this? Must be a dud. Right? Yeah, it's a dud. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Well, seriously? Oh, man. Right. Come here, asshole. Get some stamina here. All right, let's try this again. We'll pop one of these. Got a Darlene over here. Oh, 
Don't you sauce. And stay down. Okay, let's go over here. Check this car out. It's locked. Let's practice some lock picking here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I, I need to save my bobby pins because I don't have very... Oh, crap. There's a zombie bear. I don't have very many lock picks, um, and we need to save them for the treasure chests. Lock picks as in bobby pins. Uh, you know what? Actually, zombie bears will be distracted by stones. Uh, at least they are in vanilla. All right, let's grab this and put it right there. All right, let's see if he will bugger off. Yep, there he goes. Okay, cool. All right, let's go this way. I'm keeping my eyes on the ground, watching for landmines. All right, we got... Oh, he stopped. I like it. I like how they, they hit you even before they move their arms. There's a big mama. We haven't seen very many big mamas. Is she like a wasteland dweller now? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hold still, big mama. There we go. Rapacious zombie is what she's called. Rapacious. Get the arrow from her. Okay, we got another Zeke bear right in our path. Let's send him this way. Okay, you go now. No, you go further now. Get the hell out of here. There we go. All right, let's move. We can't do anything with that. Did I mention to you guys that this is a really bad idea? Just in case I didn't. That's kind of weird. Let's see if we can get rapacious big mama to go that way and I heard footsteps somewhere up here oh yeah it's Hawaii 5 -0. we don't want to mess with him I guess we're gonna mess with him son of a bitch okay I'm not even going to try to melee that guy. He's just too dangerous. I'm very glad this weapon is uh, silenced. Oh, shit. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, you know why he attacked me? Because I'm wounded. Okay. That's why he attacked us. The treasure is right here in another really crappy location. Okay, here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to actually burrow in. Oh man, this is terrible. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we're going to burrow in right here. I don't want to go straight down and get trapped, so we're going to make... We're going to tunnel in laterally instead of vertically. And then if, if zombies come through our tunnel, you know, we'll just block them or fight them or whatever we need to do. My strategy here is just to kind of keep digging to the east and let the circle shrink a few times. And then we'll go take a look at it and see if we can determine roughly which direction it's heading in. Because when it's on such a steep hillside like this, it's just, you know, it, it just makes it more difficult. 
because you're not only dealing with laterally trying to find it, but also vertically. Okay, so the circle's actually coming that way and this way. All right, let's go back and look at it topside. So it's shrinking, still kind of seems like it's shrinking to the east. So let's just keep digging to the east. Sneaking skill has improved. Well, no, actually, I'd almost say maybe it's moving more this direction. All right, let's go to the south. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay. Let's pop um, one of these. Hopefully nobody comes in here while we're doing this. And open her up. Okay, right there. Just a smidge more that way. We got it. Lock peaking skill has improved to level five. That's a nice little pile of stuff, including, look at that, 7620 coin. And another rad remover. I already have one too. So that's that was good. That was good. Okay, so let's see. We are gonna put this on our toolbar. Uh, we're gonna eat this. And we're going to make sure the stones are on the toolbar. So about what I'm ready to do is that's probably not going to matter a whole lot. Let's take one of these. Okay. And, uh, oh, the last thing I want to do is mark my bicycle. And we're going to make a run for it. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's take a coffee so we don't run out of stamina. If we see a zombie bear in our path, we will throw this stone. Sounds like we got a buzzard on our tail too, but let's just keep going until we get out of the wasteland. And a rattlesnake too. Go away, buzzard. Vamanos! Yeehaw! We did it! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was that was intense, you guys. That was intense. But we did it, and man, we got a big pile of coin from that too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so um, that is uh, that's gonna wrap up this episode. So I'm gonna go back home, put stuff away. Um, Edgar, get the hell out of here. And then um, the plan for tomorrow is going to be to randomly loot and um yeah tomorrow's the 27th so we'll spend uh, or the 27th day i should say so we'll spend time uh, we'll just go do some random looting maybe we'll do oh i did you know what i actually did take the same tier three trader quest again too that's in our town uh, so we'll get that knocked out and we'll just do some random looting in the next episode can uh, continually or continuing rather to systematically loot this town uh, and then, of course, the next day will be Horde Day. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.